Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch here. In this video, we're gonna check out a new host there I came across earlier today. I was uh, browsing YouTube and I, and I noticed it and I thought I'd share it with you guys because it is a, uh, it does have potential and uh, I think it's a good host to add to your favorites. So let's just jump right into this here. As you can see, I do not have uh, debug settings. We'll jump up and enable the internet. Okay, and we'll go to our web browser here and just close out the uh, web browser. And we'll delete everything there. Browser history, clear that. And we'll go to our settings and delete cookies and clear our website that. Okay, we'll go to our bookmarks, it's the first one here. The address is up, up here, which you need to type in. As you can see, the, uh, the different firmwares are here as well as the, this new uh, 7.55. It's a, it's the alternate host for PRB. Uh, down here is do auto detect your firmware, but if you click on this one, which we will be using, it'll auto detect your firmware anyways. So we'll go ahead and hit it, and as you can see, 7.5 detected. So we'll hit OK. Uh, it should be installing our cache here. I don't know why, maybe just because I didn't do it. Let's just hit refresh. I'm not sure. Okay. <coughs> Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at a different host here I came across today while I was browsing YouTube, and I thought I'd share it with you guys because it is a pretty handy host. So let's jump right into this here. We'll go to our settings. As you can see, we do not have debug settings. Uh, we'll jump up and we'll hit network, and we'll enable our internet. From there, we'll open up our web browser. Close out our browser. Oh. Uh, delete all there. Browser history, we'll clear all that. And then we'll go to our settings and delete our cookies, as well as clear our website data. Go to our bookmarks, and I have it on my first bookmark there. So we'll go ahead and launch it. As you can see, there's multiple firmwares you can choose from. This is new, 7.55. It's an alternate, uh, uh, PR, PRB's host, so if uh, he ends up going down and you want to still use his exploit, well, it's on this here. They also have here, click here to auto detect your firmware. Uh, everybody pretty much knows what firmware they're on, or at least they should. So we're on 7.55. Um, once we do click it, it will detect it. So it's been detected, so we'll go ahead and hit OK. So in here, we'll let the uh, cache install. This is basically all the options you have. You have your 1.0, your beta 3, your 1.1, then your hand 2.1.3b, I think. And then you have your web RTE. So for those that just want to uh, jump on a game and maybe have a PS4 trainer, then this is the great host for you. If you're looking to uh, see a video on how to use web RTE then you can check one of my previous videos I just recently made a video there demonstrating how to use this here it is done with a different host but it works pretty much the same way so now that our cache is installed we're gonna hit the PlayStation button we'll go over to settings and we'll turn off our internet launch our web browser again and then we'll come into here. We're going to use 1.1. 1 .1, uh, it's the latest. We'll go ahead and use that. This host does suffer the uh, controller drift error message. So if you do have a controller that drifts, um, you might want to just turn it off if you get that error message. As you can see, my, my cursor doesn't drift or anything, but there is a small drift in my controller, which causes that error. Uh, I, I prefer to use this controller just so that way I know which host give that error and which don't so we're gonna go ahead and hit 1.1 and we'll just go to turn off device and we'll turn off the PS4 controller ok 
Okay, so there's our first one. We'll turn on the controller, hit it, and then we'll turn off our controller immediately afterwards. Okay, same thing again. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get it, but sometimes it's the first try and sometimes it's the attempt. I, I haven't been successful on this yet. Uh, I did get a crash and I did get uh, a super long video. It was just uh, like 30 out of memory or 30 memory errors. So I decided I'd just start over and uh, go ahead and show you guys the video again so hopefully we can get better luck this time I also did get uh, two controller drift messages so It's taking a little bit of time this time. I'm not sure. Not sure what's going on with it. Let me know in the comments down below when you guys give this a go. Are you guys having better luck than than I'm having? Or? I am on the, uh, I am using original PlayStation, I don't know, like, I think that if you were on a Slim, you might have better luck, or even a Pro, you might have better luck, where I'm on this original PS4, like, one of the first ones, I think, uh, that might be half my reason there. So we'll give this a few more tries here and hopefully we can we can get it. Starting to get a little tired here. So Strange, strange is taking this long. Like, just even. Even one would be nice. Just to get in there. Okay, I'll give it a few more tries and then I'm going to call it quits on it. Uh, I may try to make another video tomorrow if I get a chance, but. Uh, it's Saturday night, so. I think I will go and enjoy my night. Ah, uh, looks like we're going in now. Okay, so I do have the controller off. Uh, I will keep it off until I finish the jailbreak. Okay, looks like it's running the web kit. Hopefully we can get to, to the next step here. Okay, so it can take up to 20 or more seconds. Your screen 
freezes, reboot your console. If your screen freezes, reboot your console. So. Give it a few seconds here, and we should be getting waiting for payload. There we go, waiting for clients. Okay, golden hand one successfully loaded. We can go ahead and turn our controller on now and just hit close internet browser. Okay, so if we wait there, you can see 1.1 as loaded. We go over to settings and we scroll down to debug settings. You can see that it's there. We'll go ahead and launch Mortal Kombat. And as you can see, it's loading. It did give us a lot of uh, memory errors. Sometimes that happens, just uh, keep on trying. I know I say after 10 you should reboot. You don't always have to, to reboot. Uh, you just keep on going until you get it. And uh, hopefully you get it. Eventually you will. So if you like the video, please like it. Uh, if you want to see future videos, please subscribe. See if we can get the subscription up a little higher. I know that we hit 100. And I'm very happy for, all the, for everyone that did subscribe. Um, let's see if we can get some more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later.